Hi, I'm Alex Zaharov-Royt and you're watching me on Blorge.com. Now today we have the Nokia touchscreen phone. Not the N97 coming in a couple of months time, but Nokia's first touchscreen phone, the 5800 Express Music. Now, its biggest selling feature is that it comes with music. So for 12 months after the purchase of the phone, or 18 months depending on your plan, you can download from millions of tracks, all from major artists, and listen to them on your phone or your computer. And after that 12 or 18 month period is up, you get to keep all the music you've downloaded. Now there is a catch, you can only listen to it, as I said, on your computer or on your phone. You'll have to pay extra if you want to be able to burn uh, CDs. But for many people, the attraction of being able to buy your phone, plug it into your computer, go to the Nokia Music Store, which is similar-ish but not as smooth as iTunes, and then download anything, pretty much, that you want. All those favourite artists from childhood or other times, download them and listen to them straight away. And as a music phone, it's a, a, you know, a very uh, compelling device, 8 gigabytes of uh, memory on a little memory card. You can plug in a 32 gigabyte device, you have a quite a large 3-inch screen. Video playback is quite stunning. You have the accelerometer features. Uh, and you also have Nokia's version of an app store, which has actually been around a lot longer than Apple's app store, but doesn't have the tens of thousands of applications that Nokia now ha that Apple now has. So, look, if you're an iPhone fan, you'll look at this phone and you'll say, well, you know, it's got all the Nokia stuff and it's not as smooth. And in many respects, iPhone owners will not be interested in this phone. But for all those people who, especially younger uh, teenagers and the like, we love the Nokia phones, the ability to send files by Bluetooth and just enjoy the whole Nokia experience. The touch experience on this phone really adds to that to Nokia's operating system. And it, it really, it's, it's, it's such a great uh, indicator of how the N97 could well be. I mean, the N97 will have this operating system, but in theory on steroids. And with 32 gigabytes of memory built in and other iPhone killing features, it's going to be a big battle between the N97, uh, this phone, which is now on sale, and the upcoming iPhone 3.